Oh, 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 Shadow! What? We missed Sonic Boom again. Uh, again? The time slot they put it in makes no sense. It's so early. Don't they know that kids are lazy? So obviously, we need to find a new way to be awake at this time. Like what? Set alarms? I smashed them. Sleep in the afternoon so we're awake at night? I'm not ruining my sleep schedule for a cartoon. Chug energy drinks all night? Sure, if you want to spend the next day in the bathroom. Play scary games all night? Never again. Not after that Five Nights at Freddy instinct. You're still banned from over 20 states for that, aren't you? I think it's 15 now. Hey, screw this. Why don't we just pirate it like everyone else? You know that pirating is illegal, right? It just takes away money that the content creators could have been making off of this. It isn't like they made any money off of this crap anyway. Didn't you see the news on what Sonic Boom did to Sega? I'm too busy looking at funny cat videos to follow what's going on in the world. Whatever. Let's watch this show already. Such hardcore music. Is it just me, or does this feel like Power Rangers suddenly? Hmm. Eggman has them outnumbered. Maybe he'll actually have a... Oh, it's that kind of show. Brace yourselves. Uninspired slapstick incoming. Yay. Okay, this is looking awfully familiar. Wait, we already commented on this. This is how the episode really starts? I thought the trailer we saw was in the middle of the episode. Damn, Big Red Button, I'm not gonna come up with new material for the same stuff. Well, I'm not objecting, but really? No establishing information? We're just jumping right in? Something tells me the plot took a backseat to the jokes. He sounds about as caring as you, Shadow. I care more than that. For example, I might open my eyes a bit wider, or perhaps... Yeah, you're right. Like you should talk. Oh look, Tails really did die in episode one. Well, maybe this show is... Oh, bull! Pretty amazing how it looks like he just fell into a pile of coal. No broken skin or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna keep a counter of every time Tails gets hurt from now on. I didn't think family style pictures were really Sonic's taste. Well, that was a pointless shot of those pictures. It's called an establishing shot. That's nice. So why is only Tails' head bandaged up, when it's clearly covered in charcoal dust? I guess the rest of him can take a beating. Wait, 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 wait. What? Look at his gut! See the edge? It's kinda chunky. Um, why are you looking- That's what happens when you run so stiff. If only your legs are moving, your gut will get fat. Remember that, kids. Are you trying to make that Sonic 2 XL game canonical or something? That what? I have something to show you after this. Anyway. Retirement. Early retirement? Yeah, you're gonna be able to play lots of golf and spend time with the grandkids. I don't have grandkids. Ignoring the fact that this is a kid's show, Sonic's not a very good wingman, is he? So yeah, my friend laid me off and told me to get grandkids. You wanna lay on me and make it happen? Okay, just checking. Don't look at me like that. I did what I had to do. What is up with that face? Sure it sounds to me like the empty sidekick position is the least of your problems, Side Sonic. Tryouts. All qualified candidates welcome. Best candidate gets the job. Resume and references required. Can you believe this? I don't know what he's so worried about. He probably has the best damn resume out of all of us. Want to be Sonic's sidekick. That's what I want to know. Every day with him, enjoying his friendship and respect. Not me, that's for sure. He makes a valid point. So why are all of us doing it anyway? So I guess that means we're seeing all of this with Eggman's cameras, and he decided to make a show out of this. Seems like not a lot of people want the job. He's no marketing expert for sure. At least when I promoted my game, I had a rocket launcher. Or a badass red glow. Where did she learn a big word like nepotism? Yeah, kids don't know what that is. Yeah, 
I do see that dictionary shadow. He seems a bit better than Tails. But he's so bland. Seems like everyone who isn't a main character is. True. Oh yeah, this was in the trailer. I wanted to congratulate Knuckles for being a smartass here, but now it's clear that he's just being stupid. Great job on a wasted opportunity here, Big Red Button. Well, hold on, Sonic. Having someone dumb is a great thing to be your sidekick. You get them to do stuff that you don't want to do, like Silver. Says the guy who had to look up nepotism. Wait, wasn't there somebody before this guy? Well, this guy looks like an assassin. Perhaps the other guy knew too much. How did I not see that coming? Really? I gotta give it to them on this one. I didn't expect that. I was being sarcastic. Oh. Uh, yeah, so was I. He said screw the job and came anyway. A real man of his word. Well, you know, plot. Or what small semblance we have of it. He should say, you won't have to fight anyone anymore. And that's a great selling point. Are you kidding? That's a terrible selling point. Who would I beat up if I don't have any enemies? Wow, never mind. He should have started off with that. Sonic just let him in. Ugh, do we have to see more of him? Agreed. The background characters all look so punchable. Actually... Actually what? He was about to say something! I doubt it was anything important. Neither is everything else! There had better be some quality crashes and injuries here. You know it'll just be more charcoal splotches. This guy is from YouTube, isn't he? I believe it. ...through all of the unimaginable hardships and brings me the red flag I planted atop the incredibly dangerous but inaccurately named Mount Safety. <laughs> Don't laugh. That will encourage them to make more of this. <laughs> Personally, I would have given Eggman the sidekick role after doing that. I'll bet Tails would get jealous and become the new villain. That'd be a weird role reversal. Sounds too clever for the show. If Tails isn't secured to that board, there's no way he'd still be standing on it after being pulled up. Physics, people! Yes! That beaver thing is dead! <sighs> it's like they knew what we were thinking. So you're saying they assumed I cared about that thing? What's going on here? Why? Did you forget? The plane is floating. It has anti-gravity technology, and yet it behaves like an old-school plane. Does anyone else call bull? I don't know why, but this made me feel uncomfortable. Ugh. Yeah. I'm not here to be Sonic sidekick, you nincompoop! I'm here to get rid of you both once and for all! What a twist! These plot twists are getting annoying. I was actually starting to believe he was being serious. Of course you were. Well, excuse me for trying to make this show more interesting. This method seems really impractical. And yet it's still better than the little car with the drill on it that he used in Emerald Hill Zone. Maybe this time Tells is actually gonna... What the hell? Rolling swaths of jungle and suddenly... The Arctic? Did nobody on the animation team take geography or ecology? He stepped on loose ice. He should have fallen. Oh, come on. Tells his head was right there. Suddenly, the ice is no longer slippery for Sonic. Oh, those material properties. So fickle they are. Damn it. They got out. Tails. I didn't really want to fire you. I was just trying to protect you. I don't think Tails is worried about that. I mean, his plane is gone again. How much money do you think he drops on that thing? More than that whole shack of theirs is worth. Well, that's dumb. Now they can expect what it's gonna do. Hey, ice doesn't burn that way. I just realized how stupid that sounds. It's like he doesn't even care about his safety. No excuses for your weakness, Tails. You carried him and Knuckles at the same time in Sonic Heroes. No excuses indeed. 
Is Tails just watching Sonic drown? Well, that's what I would do too. Wait, how come he can lift him now? Apparently soaking yourself in water and becoming heavier makes it easier, or something. Gotta love how Eggman didn't even use his magnet thing in order to save it. So they're just going to ignore Eggman then? Just leaving and going home? That's not how it works. Seriously, they just keep going and don't even acknowledge Eggman. You know, they didn't even say a single line to him after they got out into this ice field. I'm tempted to say a cold shoulder pun, but that's something you'll do, and then I'll punch you for it. Well, it's seven days a week, but you get your own plane. Tell should be saying, screw you, smartass, I built that plane! Amy, why are you bothering to ring the bell? You can look in the window and see the whole interior of that crappy one-room hut. Uh, did we miss something? Say a Pizza Hut joke, I dare you. Well, that's... that. Huh, it's a two-parter. Should we watch... And kill more brain cells? That's enough for today! In fact, I think I've seen enough for, like, ever! Everything about this was so stupid! It certainly didn't leave a good impression. I want nothing to do with this. That's all you get, viewers. What happens if the guys at Big Red Button come looking around for you? You are in the game, after all. Let him try. Well, I better get home and get ready for work. See ya. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell happened to my house? What do you think you're doing? Uh, making toast? What's with the getup? Making toast? You don't make me laugh. You're weak. And you know what makes you weak? That you use toaster to toast toast. But all toasters toast toast. I'm gonna show you just how weak you are. Oh! <sighs> what happened? The last thing I remember is that I was getting more dumb. So they did get you. Huh. I should keep an eye out for your episodes. That'll be funny to comment on. They put more thought into getting me than the actual series and the game. You better be careful, Silver, or you might be next. <sighs> Nobody seems to acknowledge my existence anymore. Spare you, so I think I'll be fine. Anyway, your attacking me made me use up all my free time. I gotta get to work now. Again. In the next scene. Man, we're a creative bunch, aren't we? Hey boss, sorry I'm late. I was kind of squatting in Shadow's house again and he broke in and attacked me for some reason. Oh, that's alright, Silver. Do me the favor and we'll just let bygones be bygones. Did you get your head stuck in the fishbowl again? Do I look like Vector to you? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna mess up your character uh, extra uh, uh, bad! Uh, 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 uh,